Hello everyone and welcome. We've got a battle raging in the Battle for Wesnoth. We're fighting a boss and um, the secret to this boss fight seems to be that the boss is actually not scary at all. It just sits there folding its arms. Um, what is scary is these enforcer drones that pop up in every conceivable side of the map. So the strategy is to block those guys off with my powerful units. Have Anya recruit some decent stuff and hopefully that will be enough. So the only person who can reach this one is Agea, so she's going to come up here, stand in the water. She's also got better attack there because it's night time rather than lit. Um, we can use... Now Irelian is cool because Irelian is one of the two units on the map who can attack these Lumeril glyphs. Everyone else is on drone baiting duty. Um, especially Durvan. And um, so I'm going to start with a healer, because I will need one of those. But then I'm also going to get a forest spirit, because my main, the main challenge here is going to be containing these enforcer drones long enough to make sure that... Uh, because they, they respawn after you kill them, by the way, um, if, in case that wasn't obvious. It <laughs> pretty bloody should have been obvious. Okay, now one tactical error I've made here is I've left Kron to tank some damage from this Enforcer drone. That's not great. Um, but, well, he'll, 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 he won't die, and then he just has to get some retaliation damage in alongside this Forest Spirit. And I can keep recruiting to my heart's content. I've got a lot of gold, so that's something. Now these drones didn't do a great job of hitting, um, but then again neither did my troops. Um, and that is the exception to that is Aurelian who uh, did get pretty badly hit. So, okay. First things first, bow of Chris Vellan, Durvan, go. <laughs> All right, Durvan hits. This is the third replay of this, by the way. In the uh, in the second, in both of the other two have involved Durvan getting killed. <laughs> um, you know, he's he's useful, but he's not very. It, also, he's, he's out of his element here. He's in the light. Um, he's fighting powerful units. Um, what can you say? Agea is having accuracy issues with her 7-7 attack. She's not the only one having accuracy issues, and now this drone is able to reach the rest of my troops, which I do not like. So, first question, should I... who should Anya try and help out? This guy I think I can kill if I'm lucky. So I feel like that's the best bet. And then this one... I need more forest fairies. Reasonable but not fantastic. You come around here, get onto a rather poor defensive position, but... Okay, this is going quite a lot worse than my last playthrough, which, ah, in case I need to remind you, I died in. So, we'll see what happens next. Poison. Good thing these guys aren't super accurate. As usual, Durvan gets the beat down. And now it's time to 
start heading north. Gonna have to really make sure Durvan gets some healing here. Because as soon as these as soon as these drones are all killed, they all respawn. Maybe I ought to just keep one alive for longer and see if that prevents them from respawning. Kron is gonna die unless I sort out this situation over here, so I guess I better sort it out. Again, okay, needs just a couple of kills in order to get a level, in fact. kill for you. Um, need health with Aurelian before she goes in. Anya, on the other hand, is doing just grand. And Agea is poisoned, which is really, really bad. You stay where you are. The next turn, the drones will all respawn. Maybe I should have gone back and recruited more troops with, Aurelian, with Anya. Okay, only one of the drones has respawned just yet, that's something. Still need to go and get rid of it. to do here is Elinia, uh, Anya is the only one who can hurt these things. That's working! Anya! Don't ask me how I know that, I only know that through previously playing this campaign. Excellent. Oh, you can go and block. That's handy. You stay where you are and gain health. You come and grab some health over here. Actually, just undo that. You come gain some health there, and then you can come and gain some health here. I am in fact going to move Kron, because the trouble with Kron is... Um, these drones like to wail on him, and it's not worth the two hit points to leave him in a in a bad position. Okay, now all the other drones are back. Move in a bit. I need people with arcane attacks to do this. Oh! Well, it did say... Alright, never mind what it said. It's only Anya that can damage these guys. Okay, so everyone else's job... Maybe... Hmm... Yeah, everyone else's job is just to, to defend against the drones, while Anya single-handedly takes on this boss, basically. Alright, let's get more drone prevention squad in play. Um, mostly you can't get to the positions you need to be in to block. You can. You also can. Um, I don't think you can be blocked from where you are. At least not sensibly. You can be blocked by Durvan. And so I'm going to plonk you here. Mm 
Well, you need to move since you would easily be killed. Most worried about you. Kron could get literally just straight out annihilated. You can only attack Irelian and Anya from there. So maybe I'm not in such a bad position after all with you. Mm, you can't keep this up forever. Okay. Absorb damage. Ooh, that was close. Okay, no new drones this turn. If you get four hits, you could get the kill, and that would, I think, that would give you a level. Um, you are trapped. You are dead, basically. Um, <laughs> nice. All right, you come back here. Just make sure I can block off the rest of you losers. Um, does Kron want to go in? Probably not. Um, preferably you do it. And you leave the kill open for this one to get an after maximum level. Fantastic, Nalia. Laria, you've already had a maximum level advancement, so now... This guy is weakened quite substantially. You get health, you get health, you stay where you are. You keep zapping away at these stupid things. Nearly there, nearly there. Maybe they'll even suicide on me next turn. And then we'll see what happens when this demon lady can't be relying on her glyphs anymore. Oh. Melee attack! You dirty beast. drone dead and we've got one respawning down here so I can take my newly leveled forest spirit and block that off Anya's looking the worst for wear and I will have to fight a very powerful demon when this comes out melee is going to be the best bet so I should get Kron ready let's see the unit description okay so you don't in fact have crazy resistances unlike your stupid lumeril things I'd need to hit with all three to kill him this turn. Nope. Not even two. Okay, I might even die to them next turn. Um, it's not like there's anything much else I can do about that. Do that. I'm just going to use a slightly different healing position, I think, this turn. Everyone stay where they used to. You really need health, so. Another priority, and you come there. Alright, good. Is this the game you are playing now? 
allying yourself with this Erdian scum so they can die for you. Okay, so all the drones are back, um, even the ones I only killed last turn, and Hemeriliel is tough, there's no other way of putting it. Um, she did a number on Agea just now. Agea should at least get out of the light. I don't think I have to kill everyone, the objective is specifically to kill the boss. And the boss now is pretty weakened, so hopefully, if I can kill her this turn... And she's not randomly absorbing damage, which is good. So who do I trust more to do this? Um, I could get no... I'm much more likely to get no damage with Kron. So I think the answer is not Kron, basically. Unfortunately. Send you in. And just do as much damage as I can. And if I can get three hits, then actually Anya should be able to finish the job. Uh, you can reach that spot, which is nice. So I'll get some more damage in. And now two hits from Anya ought to do it. And it's suggesting that I use my drain attack, which does seem like a smart idea given that, yeah, it's, either way it's good. No! Not the darkness. No, please. <laughs> Look, it's another garden. And the drones are gone, <laughs> which I'm very grateful for. There must be a way to open these walls again. Anya, where are you going? I... all right. Dervin, can you help? Oh, very well then, I suppose Kron can help me. All right, um, the slightly less relevant of our um, non-killable troops have buggered off, and... What now? What now? Sorry, get my uh, Irish right. This garden cannot physically be here. I fear that it might be an illusion cast by Django. Didn't you say he would be in the Citadel fighting the fire of Uriah? More specifically, our seer said. No. That cannot be right. <laughs> Ooh, fantastic laugh there. No. Who's there? Did you truly think I would not find out about your plans, Ergea? Django. Did you not know that I have my own informants everywhere throughout Orvatha? Of course, I would make sure to subvert the seer's prophecy in advance. Anya, teleport us away from this place at once. I can! I'm trying, but there seems to be something... 
Is it not appalling that the Lady of Light left a poor mixed blood girl in charge of assisting a fallen demon lord with a death wish? You would expect more common sense from a creature who has lived for so long and seen so much. Then again, she came here seeking her own death. Elinia, you want her, don't you? But her time has already expired, and the dark fire that took her will be extinguished next. I will deal with you all later. Assuming anything remains by then. Are those... The same abominations he sent after Eloran? We could not be more unprepared for this encounter. Elinia, why couldn't you be here now? I never thought it would come to this. Why couldn't we be together to face the end? Here we see Anya dead on the ground, Durvan near death, even Ergea substantially weakened. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the end of episode three, scenario eight B, Destiny. And here we are. Episode three, scenario eight C, Breakdown. But that will have to wait till the next video. Bye, everyone. I will see you again soon.